we are starting with now is using flat map with flux we have already used uh, flat map uh, i mean sorry map with flux yesterday we will be using flat map with flux now again the same example here i'll say flux of invoice right and i'll say invoices but this time what am i doing right uh, your friends i'm saying flux of invoices okay so i'll say invoice and i'll say flux of invoices this is what i'm writing okay i won't be able to use the same variable name flux uh, i mean sorry invoices because it is already used here so and okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this up here you know like this uh so i can reuse it i'll say equal to now see what i'm doing here flux dot we have already used something like just here right just takes an argument here you can see either one single element or else it can take variable arguments here it can take you know multiple elements here but the, here I do not want to hard code the values here. And I do not want to give, I do not want to use variable arguments, v args over here and give multiple elements. Instead, I want to create a flux from iterable. And what is that iterable? Invoices, right? See, invoices of type invoices, here it is of type list. List extends from collection. Collection is a type of iterable. So I can very well provide an object of type list as a parameter to from iterable flux dot from iterable so what becomes the data source i'll bring this formatter also up over here all right uh, so what 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 is the data source for this particular flux now when i say flux keep in mind it's a publisher it is going to uh, you know you pick up this as the data source pick this up as a data source and it will start it will read this data source and and it will start sending each element from this data source to the subscriber so what i'm going to do here is i'll say flux okay dot uh you know the simple stuff that we have got we have already done this several times i'll say dot and i'll say uh you know map okay and i'll say x so now once again in the chart window i want this x will be an element this must be very very simple answer uh, you know x is an element of which object it's an object i'm mean, sorry x is x is an element of which class it's an object of which class invoice super super so everyone of you all understand this is very well an object of class invoice good yes Harry. it's invoice right now when i say x dot get products here okay i say x dot get products okay and then here i go back sorry flux of invoices here, correct flux dot invoices and i want to convert this to what i want to convert this to i'll i'll, I'll go step by step I still want this to be flux dot invoice itself and I'll say set of invoices you know some some variables set of invoices is equal to and then I say map I can very well do what you know I can just simply modify the map over here and you will find yourself doing uh, you know something like this uh, many places in your application why because you wanted to do x dot you know set something set the value of the customer set something maybe you uh, you know fire some other function over here get the value and then you set the value of this and then you say return uh, you know x itself from here so uh, you may do some processing with x you return back that x here I'm saying some processing with x okay you make some changes to x you modify you know the state of x and then you return it back so what is it that you are getting you're still getting the set of invoices you are using map for it you could have used filter as same as you use filter in case of stream so i'll say dot and write dot filter and then again it takes a predicate here i'll say x dot get again it's the same element you know uh, uh, you know object of class invoice i'll say where invoice id is greater than zero right it works correct and it works right but then i do not want to uh you know i do not want flux of invoices i want flux of product right and in such a case i will say products over here okay flux of products let me give this name i'll say flux of products here correct and then here you see this is giving me an error why because what a map is expecting now see note my words very carefully in case of a stream right and I, I think by now you might have understood that map is not going to work here at all it's it is supposed to be a flat map because there is one to many relationship here one single okay even if i do this wait a minute let me put it the other way or, or, or you remember if it was just a map not a flat map what was it returning let me move my mouse pointer here and then show you over here see what is it returning it says convert cannot convert from flux of object to flux of product it cannot do that why because here it is 
you know, this is map and what I'm returning back over here, I'll say, let me put it like this, get products here. Okay, return get products. Now let me move my mouse pointer here and see this. You know, again, it says flux of object, you know, to flux of product, it cannot do that. It is unable to do the mapping here. It is unable to, because there is one more reason, you know, the kind of message that I'm getting over here. I don't want to confuse you with a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, but then just see this. I'll say dot, I'll say collect to, I'll say to list, I'll say collect, okay, sorry, sorry, collect list, and I'll say dot, I'll say block, okay? Now see the error message here. You can see this, see the error message? <clears throat> Cannot convert list of list of product to flux of product. See the error message very carefully. <clears throat> the reason is that your x dot get products itself is not uh, you know just one single product but it's a list of product and then each one of these elements x is mapped to the list of products so what i end up getting is the list of list of products so if i give list of list of product over here again this will success this this will successfully you know work i'll say list list of product this works okay but this is not what my ex, uh, uh, my requirement is i want simply the flux of product that too i do not want the list of product here my dear friends i want flux of product in such a case i won't give so as i said i don't want to confuse you with what is collect list and what is a block i just wanted to convey a fact to you that x dot get products does not return to you one single element it returns to you multiple elements here and that multiple element is of what data type list of product okay i don't want this at all what i want to do is i want to return a you know i i i i, I want to, finally this is what i want flux of product so instead of using a map i will use what a flat map but when i use a flat map here again it will still give me an error why because x dot get products dot i will have to convert this to another publisher before I use a flat map over here. I mean, I cannot use a flat map and return a simple object. Please recollect in case of streams also, you know, when we use that flat map stuff, you can see this here. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, did I remove that code that I had written for stream flat map and stuff? Oh, yes, I think I have I have removed it. Okay, let me take it back, uh, you know, you know, bring it back to you. So when I say, uh, if, if at all I wanted in case of stream, I'm, I'm back again on stream for, you know, few moments here. So I'll say list of, I'll say product, not invoices, I'll say all products over here. Okay, is equal to, I'll say invoices and I'll say dot, I'll say flat map. Okay, sorry, stream, I'll have to convert it to stream dot. I'll say flat map and I'll say X, I'll say X dot get products. Okay, will this work? And I'll say dot collect. Okay, in brackets collectors dot to list. Will this work? No, this is not going to work at all. Why? Because I have to convert this to what? Stream. Yes, exactly. You got it. You got it, Arthik. It must be stream. So similarly here also, it cannot be just simply the list of products. It must be converted to another publisher. That means a flat map here is expecting a publisher to be returned back in this expression. I repeat, what it is expecting is a publisher to be returned back, right? So here in this case, I will again say flux dot you can see this i'll say from iterable and this from iterable the parameter is x dot get products and this is what i'm going to return back now this works like a charm no issues at all you can see this here correct so i have a flat map so what is this flat map supposed to do it will flatten up why because each element that i receive from the publisher is an invoice over here it's an invoice now that invoice has got products those products are multiple products per invoice. I want to flatten it up and then put it into the flux of product. This is what I'm going to do. Flat map and return flux dot from my table x dot get products. In other words, you know, I have used this in general. If I want to, you know, summarize it, I must return some of the other, some or the other publisher from here. Okay. I'll say return. I can say flux dot. I can just simply say just, I can say, uh, you know, a new product. Okay, uh, one, uh, one, zero, one, comma, 
uh, whatever the product is i don't know what uh, i just okay id and name so okay i'll say id and then some name is i'll say keyboards sorry okay keyboards here you see this this also works why because after all what is it that it is expecting it is expecting the flat map is expecting that i return back what i return back a publisher it can also be a mono i can return back a mono i can just simply say because this is one single element see what is the difference between mono and flux flux deals with one or more elements and in case of a mono it deals with either zero or one element either the mono is empty it's mono void or else mono contains one element mono cannot contain more than one element so i can very well say mono over here and i do have one single element here see it still compiles successfully why because mono is also a publisher take a look right that's how flat map really works flat map does have other overloaded functions also you know this particular operator called flat map also works uh, you know and it expect it, it can very well return back the other data structures also which you can uh, you know successfully uh, go through and 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 make use of it and you know finally give you the flux of product and in, in short one of the ways is that you have to convert whatever data type you have over here you could convert it to a publisher it can be either a flux or a mono finally what i get here is flux of products here right dot i'll say subscribe and when i say subscribe i'll just simply say system dot out double colon print ln and this will print all the uh you know products for me so let me click right mouse button run as j unit test this is how it is you can see this i got both the products here why am i getting no why, why am i getting no, no no both the products and it is the same product because why i have hard coded it i'll comment this and uncomment this part Again, I say run as J unit test and now see this. You see this, I get all the three products which are of exactly those invoices, right? The two products, the first two products are from invoice one and the last product is from invoice two. That's how it is print. So this is how flat map, flat map works. Once you are done with this, I will take you through parallelism in, in flux as well. Okay, and please do this on your own machines, friends.